Hey guys, I'm at Pam's house. We're looking to do an assistant replacement here. Um, we would pull this furnace out, set our new furnace back in the same location. New 5 inch media cabinet next to it. Return drop should be able to be reused. Gas lines are copper into black iron. We can reuse that. We'll rebuild this 3 inch back down into the existing, or the new furnace. New coil on top of that and build up into the existing supply duct work. We should be able to reuse all the electrical and refrigerant lines. There's a humidifier and I'm going to do the back of the system here. That will get taken off. I would just put a power humidifier on the side of a new coil and then run all our grain lines back here to the floor drain. You can see the refrigerant lines run out of the coil there. They go straight up to the ceiling and to the outside. Right there on that joist. And then a three inch feet pipe runs up into one of the joists and out as well. Um, interested in zoning for so the second floor. Um, so we'll put a new thermostat upstairs. We'll probably have to run that thermostat wire through one of the return cases. And then we'll put dampers on everything down here in the basement. They're all six inch runs, so we can just do the six inch cut in dampers. Only one that I'm not 100% sure that we're going to be able to get to is this one right here that comes right off the top of the system. We might not be able to put a damper in that one. And I'm sure that goes up to the second floor. There was one more down here that comes right off the top of the right off the top of the ductwork. I don't remember where it was at. Um, but it comes right off the supply ductwork and goes directly upstairs. It's on the very end over there. And it goes straight up to the second floor. Everything else will have dampers installed. That should be everything down here in the basement. Um, it, what I can tell, is not a walkout. This is just a long, long closet. Um, so it's not a walkout. You will have to come to the house. Make sure you wear shoe covers and put down tarps. She just had her basement split out, so we did a new sump pump for her. That should be everything downstairs. Okay, guys, now we're looking at the outdoor unit. So this is gonna be challenging to get the new unit in place. Um, this lilac bush is probably, we're just gonna have to push a lot of stuff out of the way, um, tight that lilac bush back as much as possible. Um, and then our new unit's gonna have to slide in here along the edge. That bush should be able to get tied back quite a bit, otherwise we're just going to have to chop chunks of it out. And Ken made us a nice little pathway here to the indoor unit. Um, they don't want the unit visible from the street, and that's why these trees are here. Um, we're going to have to cut some of these branches back in order to get the new unit through there, but we'll put our new unit back down. You can see the trunk there, and the trunk here is about 45 inches, so the unit should squeeze in there. Um, but we're setting our unit back on top of a new pad, a new disconnect box, a new electrical whip, and then plus some pressure plus the line set. So it's getting the unit to squeeze back here is going to be the toughest part. We might have to go up and around this way. Um, that's a little bit simpler than having to cut the lilac bush back. And that's everything outside.